Hi, it's Josh. Um, I want to talk to you about this little book here. It's actually pretty thin called The Soul of Indian. It was written by Charles Ender Eastman. Uh, or else ways, uh, Anessa, I'm going to read in the back here. He's a Dakota Indian um, from 1800s, kind of born in 1854, I believe. And through his life, he actually spent the first several years of his life on the reservation and then uh, entered into the kind of the European American school, became a doctor, became kind of a lobbyist and was very influential in the national stage as well as in the life of his tribe. Um, he wrote a, several books about it, uh, Soul of the Indian is one of them. I actually was kind of disappointed in the sense that this book here is excerpts from that. Um, I actually thought originally it was the book itself, but it's not, so uh, a little disappointing on that end. However, the excerpts are really well written. they are actually some pretty cool stuff about the spirituality and just the differences between just how Native Americans process information rather than just some of the uh, modern kind of um, European culture that came over, um, at least from the Dakotas. I mean, uh, there's 572 different tribes in, uh, in America, that's including Alaska, the lower 48, and, and Hawaii. So a lot of different ways of processing stuff, but there are some similarities. And so uh, pardon me if I make some generalities with that. But a uh, really good book. One thing that really struck out with me was... Um, when this uh, Charles um, or uh, Oasia was actually speaking, he, I believe he was a Baptist minister as well, but he was telling some people about Jesus, and there, you really kind of show the difference between Jesus and Christianity or the church. And the uh, elders in the Native Americans picked up on that, and they say, you know, we love Jesus. We see him. He's preaching peace. He's preaching uh, against material um, wealth. He's preaching against... You know, a lot of these are things that uh, the Native Americans hold dear to their heart and kind of value system there that the ministers of the faith, unfortunately, didn't always follow, where they sometimes were too concerned with trying to crush um, the Indians, trying to crush their souls and remove their language, remove the culture and stuff, instead of really contextualizing the message. So there was some, uh, definitely some points in there. I think there's definitely worth, you know, hard points, but... It was really cool, this show in Jesus. And I think that's a very bad point for us today, right now, in um, 2019, coming in 2020, is that there is a difference between following Jesus and Christianity. Christianity sometimes wants to prop up itself and its doctrines, and Jesus, I think, is calling us back to uh, not just a relationship with him, but more to understanding of every day, every breath, every place we go through it. Uh, instead of trying to separate the secular and sacred, there is none. It's either you are a follower of Jesus and everything, or you're not a follower of Jesus quite frankly. So anyway, it's worth reading. I get the excerpts on it. I'm actually going to try to find the uh, full version of the book so I can actually find out more about this guy because uh, it really did speak to my heart. So anyway, pick it up. It's a good book to have.